warmly welcome you for another edition of In Conversation brought to you by Daily Mirror. And today is quite a special edition, I must say, uh, because we are going to cover on a turning point uh, that is much needed to engage the community in positive social change. Did you know that one in four women that constitutes almost 25% of women in Sri Lanka have experienced physical or and sexual violence since the age of 15. And, and also half of these, uh, this proportion of women have not like gone to get formal help. What, what are the circumstances driving this silence and what can we do to encourage them towards the right kind of support? So in that case, I have a very special person one of our favorite voices who actually showed us that a creative process can, can help us uh, voice the causes that we believe in. And with this engagement, she is hoping to run all her proceeds and the outcome of this project to support women who are undergoing violence. So with her latest release, Nidahase, in collaboration with the United Nations Population Fund uh, to, to stand against uh, the violence against women and to support uh, victims uh, and to talk about it and to get an inside look I have with me Ashanti Dialvis. Hi Ashanti, thank Hi. you so much for joining in with me. Thank you, it's a How pleasure to be here. I have been good, I have been okay, uh, there have been bad days because of lockdown but I mean hey these are all things that we go through as human beings and it's a great shift for everyone um, with uh, COVID and travel restrictions but I think uh, we just need to take it as it comes take the blows as they come and then um, hopefully uh, we'll see the sunshine soon definitely and and uh, congratulations on your recent release of Nidahase and it's, it's a beautiful Thank creation you. and it has so much of a, a core vision behind it and um, so before we dive into the specifics of the song I would like to hear your perspective on, on how you feel about this issue of violence. Well I think Hiroshi first of all violence in itself is completely unacceptable um, a lot of the times just delving into the i'm no psychologist but delving into the psychology of violence and how it turns or how it comes about is through lack of um, emotional expression when we're unable to express ourselves emotionally then uh, i think sometimes people resort to violence and that is something that we should never ever do to anyone, to a human being, to an animal, to, to anyone. Um, and uh, that is the basis of all of these issues that kind of prop up. That's true. And um, so as we know that we have our own ways of expression as an artist, uh, we have our ways of creatively expressing something as well. Uh, in this case, when you laid out all your options, um, you decided to collaborate with the United Nations Population Fund in, in releasing a song. Um, yeah. What inspired you uh, towards this collaboration and, and what are the objectives behind this project? Well, uh, Nidahase has been in the works for over six to eight months. And I would say most of my uh, work that really came from the heart came in the middle of COVID for some reason. It was very, very challenging to, to produce as well because we were just about to get into this new wave and everything was getting locked down and stuff like that. We were, we were shooting under restrictions. Even our meetings, um, uh, they shifted from, from the physical platform onto a, onto a Zoom platform. So it was a bit back and forth. Uh, and uh, we had to try really hard to put things together on this project. But uh, we went, um, so um, Sharika and uh, Kenosha have been a great help from UNFPA. And the whole team as a whole has been really helpful and like my backbone when it, when it came to, to um, producing uh, Nidahase. And, um, together when we put all our ideas together and had so much of feedback, even from Chamil as a producer and also Manuranga as a writer and even Chatu as, a, as the audio producer, we came up with something really magical, I think. Uh, after spending a really long time thinking about how we would create something that would really affect society. 
so that's how it came about. And um, for me, advocating, um, I would say, female rights or uh, talking about gender-based violence has been in the works uh, since 2018 was when I started. And it's just been a, a journey, a beautiful journey of just knowing myself as a woman, speaking for every other woman, hoping that my voice would be a voice for the voiceless and everything in between. And that's where the magic began. Yes. And, um, and also talking about uh, the community engagement, this, this project is not just going to end uh, with the release, but uh, this can, as we know, we are really great at making awareness, but to turn awareness into action, there's a process, there's engagement, there's so much more that everyone can unite and do. So in the case of Nita Hase, how can we actually bring action? How can we manifest action? How can people support it? Well, I would say uh, this song is a start. Uh, it's an eye opener for everyone uh, to actually look at the reality of society and things that uh, can change and things that we want to change um, about our society because it's such a closed culture. We hardly speak about our problems. Um, just when you asked me, how's it going? Uh, your, my immediate answer usually would have been great. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just being more open about the truth when it comes to everything. And I think everyone else should be as well uh, because that's how we get to express ourselves. Um, and yeah, sorry, uh, I lost my train of thought. You got to tell me the question again. I, I think you're all you're getting there. So yeah. as, yeah. as amazing the song yeah. is, uh, how yeah. can the community also support um, the end yes. the end objective of the track? Yeah. Okay. So how the community uh, the community can actually support the end objective uh, is by sharing this song, and not just by that, but I think uh, I hope that this song can reflect change within everyone who, who listens to it. And um, I suppose just awareness in general would bring about that change. So I'm hoping that this song could be one of the first steps towards it, since we Definitely. need it so much. Of course. And and let, let's also talk about uh, the amazing team behind Nida Hase. I mean, there was amazing vocal combinations we saw, and there was a stellar video production that is done within, a, I'm sure it was a limited time and resource span. And, uh, but it was all towards a great cause. So let's talk about the amazing team behind it. Cool. So like I said, UNFPA uh, has been a great collaborator on this project. And they've really backed me up um, with promotion, social media, strategy. We've, all, uh, we've got together and spoken about concept and really just formulated this song in such a way that, um, I, like I said, there's a bit of a magic behind it. I, when I went into production, I said, this is the beat I want. I want it to be driving. Uh, this is the emotional tone I want the verses to take. And this is the power I want in the chorus. And I think those things really came through. And even in the video production, the way it was produced, uh, uh, Chamil was great at producing this music video and also very sensitive to all the necessities uh, of the music video because we had never shot something that needed this much attention to sensitivity before even though we had delved into other avenues of gender-based violence like public uh, transport, harassment in public transport and in the workplace, uh, this was another level because there are a lot of uh, do's and don'ts, a lot of red tape, what you can show on TV or digital media and what you can't show, things like that. So uh, the video producer was uh, just very intelligent about those things and we were all on the same page. And uh, Chaturanga was great with the, with the audio. And also our lyrics went back and forth for a good six months. I've written, I would say, about three different English versions before this became a singular version. We tried out so many different singular versions until we got the final cut. And Manuranga was uh, just really patient and really great. And I think the magic behind this is the combination of a lot of people who uh, wanted or want positivity to come out through this uh, through this project, and uh, that was the formula we needed for a great hit. And now, uh, right now, Nida Hase is trending at number ten. And I would say, for me, it's one of my proudest moments because yes, I've had commercial music trend, but never a social cause. 
and that means that we're doing something right because society is noticing. I also want to make a special mention to uh, Tima Shanti, Madhavi and Shemil who appear on this music video singing the Tamil language because uh, this is for the first time I'd say I've uh, done, a, done, a, uh, done a music video for social change in two languages and hopefully very soon we're going to have uh, an English translation on board on the video as well so that it opens itself to a wider audience uh, of uh, Sri Lankan diaspora and uh, international um, like viewers outside of the country. I think that's that's the most important thing. And as you mentioned, the formula, I mean, it's also about hitting the right places, feeling the right things, but also ending with a glimmer of hope. And exactly. um, yes, so I think, um, as you mentioned, you know, when it goes beyond a commercial purpose and people are noticing, that is the best thing, I think, as an artist that oh. we could like witness. So yeah. um, I have to say, you know, all the very best, Ashanti, uh, what you're doing is Thank amazing. You. And, and uh, hopefully Nidahase will make a tremendous impact. And even if it's an incremental process, we believe it will. So all the very best with all your endeavors. Thanks. And uh, with that, we also kindly want to um, inform everyone about the release of Nidahase and check on the link that we have provided and show some support that all the proceeds will go into helping uh, victims of violence. And also if you are experiencing any form of um, violence you know please don't hesitate to reach out on the national hotline at 1938-1938 do take care